Welcome everyone to this lesson on the key changes from CAS B plus CAS 004 to CAS 005 certification. This updated certification reflects the rapidly evolving cybersecurity landscape with topics being removed and the introduction of new cutting edge concepts. We're going to dive into these changes and explore how the CAS 005 certification is keeping pace with the industry's latest trends and challenges. Let's get started with the first section of the presentation. So CASP Plus is a cybersecurity certification that is evolving to address modern threats and challenges. The latest version, which is CAS 005, focuses on emerging cybersecurity technologies and methodologies. The certification is regularly updated to reflect current industry best practices and trends. And this ensures CASP Plus remains relevant and valuable for the cybersecurity professionals. By earning CASP Plus, you demonstrate your ability to tackle complex security problems and implement effective solutions. And this certification validates your advanced technical skills and strategic thinking in cybersecurity. So farewell to the outdated concept. The traditional hosting models of single and multi-talent servers are becoming less relevant as cloud adoption increases. Now, businesses are shifting away from specific virtualization tech strategies like virtual machines and towards more abstract concepts like containerization and cloud native approaches. Older cryptographic protocols like SSL are being deprecated and replaced by the modern standards like TLS 1.3. More topics are phased out, like in the past, we had a number of specialized tools and techniques that have been since um, phase, has been phased out or replaced. First is uh, endpoint uh, geotagging. Um, it declined due to privacy concerns and limited practical application. Next is uh, memory snapshots. Um, this has been superseded by more comprehensive incident response tools and techniques. And a specific file carving tools um, has been omitted in favor of broader, more versatile forensic tool sets. So the trend has been towards consolidation and generalization of capabilities rather than reliance on niche point solutions. This allow us to become more efficient and effective in our digital investigations. Embracing modern cybersecurity challenges. So this slide provides an overview of the key point topics that will be covered in CAS 005 course. So the four main areas are threat intelligence. We have AI security, cloud environments, and zero trust architecture. And these are critical areas for addressing contemporary security needs in organization. We're going to dive deeper into each of these topics over the course of the presentation. New frameworks and AI challenges. Threat modeling frameworks like Stride and MITRE ATT&CK provide a structured approach to proactively identify and mitigate potential threats. These frameworks help organizations be more proactive in their security efforts rather than just reacting to incidents. Now, identifying and addressing AI-specific risks like adversarial attacks and data poisoning is important as machine learning models become more widely deployed. Securing AI systems requires specialized techniques and considerations beyond traditional cybersecurity approaches. So here in the image, um, it sets the tone for the key challenges we're going to be discussing around crisis management and zero trust security. Of course, the sad and gloomy expression and rainy backdrop convey the high stakes and stressful nature of security incidents and data breaches that organizations must be prepared to handle. We're going to first cover the importance of effective incident response having the right processes and capabilities in place to quickly identify, contain, and resolve security threats. 
Next, we're going to dive into zero trust security principles, which shift the mindset from trust but verify to never trust, always verify. It's a critical approach for protecting against modern cyber uh, threats. And finally, we're going to look at how cloud access security brokers or CASPs can help organizations manage the unique security risks that come with cloud computing. The focus of this slide is on coding uh, edge cryptography and automation in cybersecurity. The first key topic is uh, post-quantum cryptography, preparing for the potential threats posed by quantum computing by adopting quantum resistant algorithms. Second is about IAC, infrastructure as a code, um, automating the management of security and infrastructure for greater efficiency. The third topic is about SOAR, security orchestration, automation and response integration, implementing these capabilities to enhance overall cybersecurity operation. So these three areas represent important technological advancements that organizations need to understand and adopt to stay secure in the face of evolving threats. Advanced threat detection and response is uh, also a critical capability for organizations today. Here, we're gonna cover three key areas that can help strengthen your security posture. First is proactive threat hunting, using advanced detection techniques to identify and eliminate threats before they can do harm. Um, Intelligence-driven security by adopting a data-driven approach that leverages real-time threat intelligence and analytics. Then you have the cloud-native response, which is about specialized incident response strategies optimized for cloud environments. So the future of cybersecurity is, of course, uh, rapidly evolving, and it's important for professionals to stay ahead of the curve. Of course, continuous learning about emerging threats and new technologies is key to maintaining cybersecurity expertise and adopting your skills to focus on areas like cloud computing, artificial intelligence, and advanced threat detection will help you stay relevant and effective. Preparing for and obtaining the CAS005 can demonstrate your expertise in the field and help you stand out. So staying updated, adapting your skills, and pursuing relevant certifications will equip you to embrace the future of cybersecurity. Thank you very much for watching the video.